Hi guys, welcome back to Buttons and Bows X. Today I've got my February favourites. Well, slash January, because I didn't do January favourites, I kind of had a lot going on. So these are kind of like January, February current favourites, if you will. I'm just going to get on with it because I've got some beauty, some hair, some random um, favourites. So yeah, I'm just going to get on and show you it. So I've got my little box here, which has got some goodies. And I'm just going to kind of pull out as they as they come out. So the first thing that I've been loving is this Boots, um, what's this, Conditioning Nail Polish Remover. This is literally just the Boots own brand one. This is, as you can see, this is the orange one. Obviously it's orange, just love orange. Um, and I just find this gets nail varnish remover off, uh, this gets nail varnish off so easily. Literally just put it on a cotton pad, swipe and generally it just comes off. Dark colours, everything. Um, glitter obviously takes a little bit longer like any remover it always takes a little bit longer but i think this is maybe a pound maybe a bit under i will never ever buy anything more expensive than that because you don't need it this is so good um for those of you that have ever tried the ones in the pads it's just like that but this is the conditioning one so i find that it actually leaves your nails a lot softer um than just the standard one but i think they've got a couple of others as well like regrowth and stuff like that so um yeah definitely look out for this if you're after a good nail varnish remover this is so good I'll never try anything else ever again. Next thing is a hair care product. So you know how I rambled on for a long time about the Dove um, dry shampoo? I do still love that, but obviously I'm not, I'm not gonna put it in here again because you, 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 know, you know about that. This is from the same Dove range, the Style and Care range, and this is the Nourishing Dry End Serum. This has been so good. Um, I have kind of dead hair, I don't, I don't I don't do anything to my hair on a day-to-day -day basis at all. Um, literally, like, even when I wash it, I fall asleep on it wet. Like, it, it's terrible. Like, sorry. I know that's going to offend some people. Um, so this is just really, really good. Um, you can put it in, like, damp hair. I think you can put it in wet, wet hair, uh, in dry hair as well, because I put mine in dry hair. And you literally just need a couple. Or just like a normal serum and just put it into, kind of, from there downwards. Um, I kind of use only about three pumps, because obviously I've got lion mane it's got to be tamed um and it smells uh the same as the dry shampoo as well so if you like that then this will be really good and i just find this has really helped my hair it's putting a little bit more life back into my hair obviously you won't ever kind of you know once your hair's dead it's dead you know sorry about that but i just find that this kind of just puts that little bit more shine into it and doesn't make your dry ends look as dry so um well worth a look if you're into something like this Next is a perfume, and I received this actually from my parents uh, for Christmas, and it's the Gucci, oh no, what's the name of it? I don't know, it's this gold one. Prestige Premier? I don't know. I'll try and find that and I'll link that down below for you because I'm not quite sure of the name, but this just smells amazing. I got it in a box set and it's like, I can wear this during the day or at the in, in the evening. It's, it's very grown up scent. It's very it's sweet, but without being too sweet. It's not floral or anything like that. It's just oh, it's really refreshing. I think this will be a beautiful one for the summer as well. Now on to a bit of makeup. The first thing is oh, I've used this so much that the emblems kind of come off. But this is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer. As you can see, it's got this honeycomb print in the board it's meant to it's kind of gone and um it has a mirror this side um and this is really good this is just a matte shade it's the, i've got it in shade three which is a medium matte so they do do a couple they do do they do um maybe one or two shades darker than this one i find this is just brilliant as um i can't with a big fluffy brush kind of just bronze the whole face or even as a contour i find this works really really well it's got lost lovely lasting power um doesn't smell of anything so um yeah this is definitely it's kind of the higher end of drugstore oh, i can't remember the price i think it was over 10 pounds but um definitely worth it for a matte for a good matte bronzer this is definitely one to go check out next is a mascara and this mascara is the maybelline of the falsies volume flared now if you check out the wand um if you've ever used the normal uh, before C's, it has more of a scoop, more of a curve. This one isn't as curved, and it's also looked very kind of wobbly. Um, 
so for that reason it's for the top lashes it's not it's not the best mascara I've ever had. That's not the reason why I actually love this. It's actually for my bottom lashes. Um, I kind of show you're not going to be able to see properly, are you? But um, I find that you can easily just get in, kind of do your thing with the bottom lashes. It kind of grabs all of them. It makes them dark. It makes them long. It kind of gives them that extra bit of oomph that I haven't really found another mascara to give my bottom lashes before. So I'm actually really impressed with this. And if I were to buy it again, I would literally just use it for my bottom lashes because... Um, yeah, it's, I've said it before, but big ones, obviously, I've got a little eye, so anything that's got a big wand I do kind of struggle with. This has got kind of like a really good wand for me, um, because of my eye shape and size. So, if you're kind of struggling with anything like that, then definitely check this one out. Now on to lips. Oh, I've got a post coming up, um, of the, uh, Rimmel Moisture lipsticks renew lipsticks um, and the three shades that i have so you will be seeing a blog post in detail this is my definitely my favorite obviously orange again what can i say this is in love with ginger and this is basically meant to be a copy of max morange um i don't own that i don't really have um I don't really want to own that to be honest. I own Vegas Vault by MAC so I don't really want to own Morange and I kind of regret buying um, that one already because this is just a beautiful orange shade. It's obviously it's a moisture one so it keeps your lips feeling really nice and hydrated and the colour lasts so well. Um, I wore this on Valentine's Day and it lasted all day. I think I maybe only topped up once or twice throughout the day and it fades really nicely as well over the day so you, you know you don't get like those patchy look that sometimes you can get so yeah big fan of these I never used to like the old ones I think I've got three or four before they were reformulated I hate every single one of them this is amazing and then the last thing product wise I have this little nails ink nail varnish I've never been overly fussed overly fussed with nail nails ink before um I've also thought they were a bit kind of overpriced and things like this. I received this in a glossy box and I've been wearing it all month. I think I think for me it lasted, with a top coat, it lasted about six days. That has never ever happened to me before. I just have nails that chip like mad. And I'm actually not wearing it today. <laughs> I took it off the other day. But um, I've really been loving this. It's just a beautiful nude. This is the shade Porchester Square and I've been absolutely um, loving it. Now for a few of kind of random favourites, I have a pair of trainers that I've been absolutely loving. Um, I bought them last year and never wore them and then when I went away at the beginning of February I wore them because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of walking and I've been wearing them ever since and people have been absolutely loving them, complimenting me saying they're so cute. So here they are. I don't know if you can see the pattern on them. So this is really nice floral sort of high top pair of trainers obviously just white laces on the front um yeah these are from river island last year as i say i don't know whether they're going to bring out any more but they probably will because florals are still really big this year this year so they probably will bring out um, another version of this but yeah they're around 30 pounds which i think is really good and yeah i've been wearing them just with like acid wash jeans and just like a bright t-shirt and they've been really really nice i've got so many compliments everyone always says they look really cute so um yeah i'm really glad that i've dug these back out because i think i wore them only a couple of times last year because i didn't want to get them wet in the rain i know i've got over that now that's where them so yeah they're really really nice and then a couple of other favourites that I've got are kind of like lifestyle personal ones. At the beginning of February, my lovely boyfriend took me to Paris for the weekend, for Valentine's weekend. We spent three days at Disneyland and um, we spent actual Valentine's Day in Paris, kind of walking around, seeing the sights, having some dinner and oh, it was absolutely beautiful. Obviously, I popped into Sephora. I do have a blog post on that just showing some pictures and just like a quick sort of summary of what we got up to. So if you are interested in that, I will link that down below for those of you that are interested in that so that was amazing that was definitely one of my favorites um to go see mickey mouse was amazing and um the carnival and just everything it's just so good we were really lucky as well because we went on the thursday and it wasn't really that busy so we managed to get on all the rides that we wanted to on the thursday um and then went back again for the weekend um yeah it was really really good 
and then my last favourite is at my most recent which is I went down to Wales to see my best friend for the weekend because she lives very far away from me I live kind of south east um, in England she lives in Wales so we only get to see each other a couple of times a year actually spend some quality time together a couple of times a year quality time you know um, so it's actually really nice to see her um, just have girly time so we went bingo we went out we kind of just had it's had so much fun um so yeah that's always really nice to see her and yeah that's kind of all my favorites for this month and jan really i hope that you have a beautiful march and i really hope it gets sunnier and we don't have any more rain okay take care guys bye